Approximately 50 kilometers away from Brno, there are Studenets. Here, in one of the three centers of the Institute of Vertebrae Biology, we work with the material brought from Africa. The tissue samples are stored in the freezer to prevent them from degradation. In the molecular laboratory, we start with the routine techniques used for isolation of DNA from a small piece of tissue. Combination of physical and chemical methods leads to breaking of the cell wall disintegration of proteins and dilution of salts and other not needed chemicals. After that, we have a unique DNA for every individual in one tube. If we want to work with it, we need to get a high number of copies from some parts of the DNA, which is interesting to us. To achieve this, we use polymerase chain reaction, so-called PCR. It uses the principle of nuclear acids replication during which the genetic information is passed from one molecule to another. To choose a particular part of DNA to replicate, we need to use primers specifically designed for our experiment. The final reaction happens in the machine called the thermocycler, which changes the temperature during the process in the intervals we set up. At the end, we get a sample ready for sequencing, which is used to reveal the actual order of nuclear bases in sequence for every individual. For analyzing the data, we use methods designed for inference of evolutionary relationships and population structure. Thanks to the hidden information and genetic data, we uncover the history of known species and we are able to reveal an existence of those which are still not described. Then we put these findings together with the knowledge of geography of our studied region.